Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring. And I will also show you how to deal with a constant term that has a big, big number. So let's get started. The very first thing we are going to do is I want you to look at this number over here, the constant term, negative 1404. Just write it down on the top of this x factor and then this middle number, the coefficient of x is going to go at the bottom of this x factor. The next thing is we are only interested in the positive part, 1404. We will take care of this negative sign a little bit later. And as we can see that this number 1404 has prime factors or the divisors are 2, 3 and 30. We can figure it out easily and also I have given you this divisibility rule and the chart as you can see that 1404 can be easily divisible by 2, 3 and 13. You can check it out. So these numbers 2, 3 and 13 which are the prime factors of this number that is going to help us a lot when we are finding the factors of this big number. And now we want to find the factors of 1404. Since this is a big number it's not that easy. Let me show you a simple way of doing this thing. Let's look for a perfect square number that is very close to 1404. Think about that one. Obviously that number is 1600. 1600 is pretty close and this is a perfect square. That could be written as 40 times 40. So thus our possible factors of 1404 are going to be really close to these numbers. So our factors for 1404 turns out to be a 36 and 39. Now you might be wondering how did we come up with these numbers? First of all if you see the difference of 36 and 39 is 3. That's what we are looking for and also these two numbers are divisible by our prime factors 2, 3 and 13. Make sure that these number must be divisible by these prime factors. As you can see 36 is divisible by 2 and 3 and 39 is divisible by 13 and 3. So I'm going to write down our possible factors right up here. 36 and 39. And the only thing is we need to fix the signs. So we know that 39 has a negative sign and 36 has a positive sign. And these are our two factors. Now let's shift our focus on the left hand side on this quadratic equation. We want to solve it by factoring. So we are going to put down two parentheses and set it equal to 0. Let's put down x and x over here and then these are our factors positive 36 and negative 39. I want you to put down positive 36 in the first parenthesis and negative 39 in the second parenthesis. Since these factors are equal to 0 I can separate them I can split them up x plus 36 equal to 0 and the other one is x minus 39 equal to 0. That means x equal to negative 36 is one of the solutions and the other one is x equal to positive 39. Thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 36 and 39 and that is our answer. And finally here is your assignment. Can you do this problem on your own? You can take your time, you can pause the video. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. 
please go ahead and check it out and see the correct solution thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye